Hey there, everybody. That here, and welcome back to that plays, Manor Lords. We have our mercenaries. Yes, we do. We have our retinue, too. And we have them because there are some brigands coming our way. I'm not entirely sure which town they're heading to, but we'll find out where over time. For now, let's make sure we are gathering everybody together. Uh, honestly, it looks like they could be going to either one of them right now. So let's go ahead and gather like right over here. Just to try to be ready for them, okay? So y'all move out. While they're doing that, we don't have to bother our actual villagers at all. Well, townsfolk over here. Townsfolk here, villagers here, which is great. Hey, y'all got meat? Y'all got 70 meat. We finally have a good amount of meat over here, which is great. I also built a, a small stable, which is also great. Um, could get more ox. Just go ahead and buy another ox. It's worth it. Okay. Eh, they're still moving in. I won't say they're going as fast as they can, but they're definitely moving at a speed. We also have a lot of people over here on the forager hut because we really could use more berries. I mean, we do have almost a year's worth of food, but we could always use more berries, I feel. And I do feel like we're getting a ridiculous amount of firewood right now. So maybe we could afford to uh, slow down to the woodcutter's lodge. I don't know. It, the, Actually, yeah, maybe we can take a family off of here and then instead put them on the uh, storehouse so that we can sell more. Another level three plots done. It's beautiful. A 12 out of 15. Where y'all at? Okay, they're coming straight this way, which is great. Here's our um, leveled up retinue, by the way. You'll notice about half of these lads have some plate on them. This guy's having a great dance. He's doing well. And they're standing right before the river, which is great. Man, some of them are standing in it. Probably not as great for them, but, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, so I think this is where the battle's going to be, if and we can help it. Okay, let's so get right about here. What I'd love to do is actually get the main engagement with our light mercenary infantry. Have the archers, of course, be around the side, ready to arch. Okay, we'll do shoot at will. And then the mercenary groups be ready to fight. Retinue, I'm going to split them up on each side, and they will hopefully be able to be the hammer that strikes the anvil that is the light infantry with these guys squished inside. We won't, it probably won't work exactly like that, but we'll see how it does go, you know? Okay, the animals are coming back, thankfully. It's the middle of July. We're doing all right. You know, all things considered, we have, uh, how many helmets? 26 people with helmets. Oh, and 25 of the pole arms. Life's good. Life's real good. Okay. I did pause it just to look over here a little bit more. We have 400 helmets over here still. Uh, start making male armor. And we're going to change. We're going to transform that next. All right. Okay, they're still moving. Yeah, if we can get uh, male armor for these lads after that. Some of them can wear male. I don't know if they all can. I think it depends on what houses they live in. Like, you guys can wear male for sure. But, like, Burgess Plot Level 2, you'd wear Gambeson. I guess they can't afford male. So, I, I kind of get it. But, you know, get some male armor going. That just means we need more level 3 houses, right? That's all that means. More of these big boys. Yeah. Oh, of course, now we need logs. That's all right. We have uh, people on the logging camp, right? We have one. It's fine. It's enough. Although we do have 49 houses, so I could put another group here. Put another on the logging camp. Get that done up. Put another on the trading post. And then we'll save the last one for now. Okay. They're getting close. All right, move up just a little bit more. Okay, you guys come over here. 
sit in the woods. I said sit. Okay. Archers move up just a little bit. All right. I think we're going to be really, really well off there. Yeah. Losing a little bit of cohesion because they're moving around. I get it. I get it. The ones that are in the home region, like the one, the guy from Breland, the guys from Breland, they're feeling great. Because they're in Breland. They're willing to defend it with their lives. Okay, they are splitting up over here. You guys look like you're heading straight towards the mercenary company. You guys don't. So I'm thinking maybe we move our retinue back some. Y'all move back. Come over here. Get ready to meet them. Alright, y'all are in a good enough position where you are. Okay, how we doing? How we doing? Got some level 2 plots. They ain't got no food. What? Y'all ain't got no fuel. What? How do you guys miss all this stuff? Okay, battle music starting. Okay, I'm gonna want you guys... I'm gonna want you guys to stand your ground. Get ready to absorb them. Y'all move this way, please. Hey, okay, I think we're in a good enough spot. Oh, you're gonna start shooting soon. All right. As soon as they come out of those woods, you could start shooting at them. Which, at the very least, will piss them off. Okay. You guys move over here. All right. That'll be one engagement there. Red new keep coming around. Okay. Get him. Retinue, move up. This is good. We got a good distraction here. Archers, fall back. Okay. Retinue, come in here and clear. Our retinue did get engaged over here, but... This other group of brigands are getting destroyed. So I think as long as this retinue can stand... Stand strong enough, stand long enough, I think they'll be okay. Did lose a couple archers so far. Because they won't disengage. Come on, guys. Get disengage. Disengage. One group of bandits is already down. Alright. And our retinue over here have taken out another group of them already. Damn. Wait, are we done? Almost. We're done. The bandits are down. Holy crap, we just paid them for another month. It's fine. It's fine. They did their duty. Okay. The uh, group from Zwayu, go ahead and head back home. Since I have you guys for a couple extra days, you know what? I'm just going to hold on to you for a bit. But the rest of our troops can go back. It's weird that no other bandit camps show up. I get it. Like, the places are technically claimed. I feel like they should show up. They should be around trying to make my life just a little bit more difficult. Hey, Saw Pit, can you stop for a bit? Construction Reserve... Does this keep dropping down to zero every time I load the game? I think it does. So I'm just going to turn off the saw pit for now. We have 169 planks. Technically, we have more or had more down here at one point. We were trading them. I think we aren't anymore, obviously. Logging camp is doing great. So maybe we do turn on the saw pit over here. Yeah, let's do that. Mm, we're full of houses over here. Maybe we need to do some building first. Yeah, what's populated? Uh, we have three families on this granary? Take one off. Okay. We have ten months worth of food. I think we could grow again. So I tell you what. Let's make 
a house with a huge backyard for vegetables. Like this. But it's one plot. All right. So this is going to be one huge plot for veggies. And that's the only thing they're there for. Should feed quite a few people. Maybe it'll be like it is over here where we have like 250 veggies available. Hey, what are we trading here? Roof tiles for helmets? We still don't have... How are you guys doing? You almost home? You're almost home. We still don't have our groups fully equipped with helmets, so we still need more. Come on. Get your butts over here. Almost there. Almost there. There. Go home. Good job, lads. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Check out our pack station. Yeah, roof tiles for helmets. Uh, they still have 180 roof tiles, so we have def definitely have plenty of stuff to, you know, make helmets out of. You're sending helmets and receiving shields, which we only have three small shields, so it's, that's been going slow. No shock there, I guess. 160, 73 buckaroons. We could keep you guys on long term if we really wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Why? Because you'll be able to recharge and be available next month at full strength. And then I'm wondering if it's time to actually try to claim some territory from our friend over here. I don't want to tell him his time has come. That doesn't sound like a good idea. We could just say, hey, we want Hofstetten. You know, it's ours now. Give me. Let's see how that works out for us. Maybe it'll work out great. Maybe it won't. Okay. The hunting, I mean, they're down to nine animals now, and we have 98 meat, so the hunting's definitely been going well. Okay, speed up a little bit. Got all the, yeah, we got all the logs here. Great. Feast them eyes, let me tell you. Family moving in. Beautiful. I still don't know how the uh, firewood stall is not, like, getting done, but whatever. Another group moved into Breland. Nice. All right, where do we put you guys to work? That's the question. Sheep farm? I don't think we need more people to sheep farm. Could be wrong, but I don't think we do. Weaver shop seems to be pretty full. I think you're fine as well. Granary is literally full. Mm, tavern has two people now, right? Yeah. What about this uh, stall here? I mean, there's someone working it. So I guess I can't worry too much about that. Uh, a forager hut. We have 147 berries. I don't think we need to put someone on there. Hmm. Got plenty of people on the trading post. We got plenty of sheep. We actually have 24 yarn. Okay. We're good on wood. The malt house. How are we on malt? We have eight barley. And how much malt? No malt. So we could put another family on here, but I don't feel like that's a big thing. The forester's hut, I feel like doesn't need extra people. Honestly, I think the thing that needs the, the most is actually, like, the farms. Um, definitely don't need more on the Woodcutter's Lodge. The farms and the storehouses, I think, need it the most. Out of everything. Let's put another family on the storehouse. Yeah, keep that one going. I don't think we need more people on the clay. We got plenty from the deposit. These other two, I guess, can just guide oxes. The ox. The oxen. Uh, 
hides and leather were like neck and neck on. I don't think we need to get any of that going any faster. But, I mean, I could put a family on the stable. And then their job will be to guide the animals. Like, literally. Yeah, put, put one family here. They are professional ox guides. Yeah, that's all they do. That's all they need to do. So it's fine. Theoretically. We could also assign livestock to the logging camps. So that's something to know. Not that we need to. Hey, we've got 89 tools over here now. Blacksmith is making uh, sidearms at the moment. Which we have 23 of them. Pretty nice. Once we have some small shields, we could actually, if we wanted to, raise a unit of uh, footmen over here. Which is kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, there you go. Okay. So now they'll have their own group of soldiers. And they have plenty of families available for this job, too. Go ahead and uh, expand the living space here. And she'll have a vegetable plot there. It'll be great. Theoretically. Who knows for sure, but theoretically it'll be great. All right. Just had a save. We're going to wait for the new mercenaries to be available. Then I'm going to make a claim. I'm going to hire the mercenaries at full strength. And then I'm going to make a, a claim. Okay, upgraded to level two. This one's mostly just because we can, but you know. And once that's done, add a vegetable garden here. And then this place will be perfect. Beautiful. Uh, almost. They didn't finish it. Well, it was... Oh, they need two more logs, that's why. Oop, treasury. Uh, 197. Oh boy. Okay. Well, dang it. That's that's about enough to actually upgrade a bunch more troops in Breland. Yeah, I got half of them upgraded, so why not keep it going? I mean, it only costs 24 each. It's actually kind of cheap all things considered. It's 240 to upgrade 10 of them and we make almost 200 a month. Okay. So, this group is fully upgraded. It's great. The other one is not, but that's okay. Okay. Mercenaries are available. Go ahead and hire the green caps. Okay. Tell them to come over here. Wait for them to get over there. And then we're going to make a claim and see what happens. New family moving into Breland. Sweet. Still don't have fuel right there, huh? I don't know how, but okay. Pantry's full. Well, yeah, I get that. Okay. Done and vegetable garden. You have 600 bucks over here? Dang. You 1200? Double dang. No wonder we're making so much money. Okay. And there's the plot. Now we just need to wait for families to move in. As soon as one of them moves in, life will be really good there. Here we have six people. Okay. The shields come from... Come from Reland. Which is fine. Honestly. And they'll make them. They'll hammer them out. We'll sell them. Hey, got five helmets sitting over here. Yo, 36 and 30. We're full of helmets. Um, Not full, but we don't have... We don't need any more helmets. So now that that's officially the case, uh, how... How is uh, Zwayu doing on roof tiles? They don't need any roof tiles. Okay. We don't need to do any more trading on that front. Now we need chain mail. So, mail armor. That's a one-to-one. -one. We might actually need the roof tiles. So, you know what? Keep that trade going. All right. 
How are we doing on mail armor down here? Seven. I'm not surprised we have less. To be fair, there's a lot that has to be done before that. Iron has to be mined out and stuff. Work area is empty. The forager hut? Wow, it is. Yeah, take them off. I mean, that makes sense, actually, that it's empty right now. Just where we are in the season. Okay. So if that's empty, what do we put the... Where do we put these guys to work? The tannery? How are we doing on leather? We have plenty of leather. Trading post? I mean, we could put another family on the trading post, sure. Storehouse is doing pretty well. Granary? We should consider upgrading it soon, but we need more wood for that. How's the wood? Oh, wait, that's a woodcutter's lodge. I'm thinking of the saw pit. Put a family on the saw pit. Keep us, like, four timber. And that'll be good. Okay. That part's done. Claiming Hofstetten. Yes. We want this area. Please understand. All right. Now they know. And then we just have to see how they reply. Probably unhappily. We're right, I guess. But yeah, we'll get us some saws. Then we can upgrade the granary. Make that big. Probably wait for the rain to stop. Pantry is full. I don't believe you. Gauntlet has been thrown. They want to fight. They want to fight right here. Okay. Good. Uh, don't bring in our militia yet. Okay, yeah, let's just see what they have outside of that first. Why do we only have half of our... Okay, okay, I was going to freak out for a minute. It, they were rallying, that's why. Okay, they came directly from up here. What do they have? Two mercenary infantries, archers, a retinue, and brigands. I can make it worth your while if you drop all of your claims. It's 462 silver. I mean, that would double my uh, amount, which is fine, I guess. But no, bring our soldiers over here. I hate this location for us because it's surrounded by... I guess our best spot would be to have us come from down south, actually. Hey, are you running? Stop running. Okay. I don't need runners over here. Too fatigued. There. Damn it. You dummies. Come over here. Okay. Because we're going to come in from the south. Probably from right here. Because that'll be the location where they have the least space to hide. And that's where we'll start battle. But we have three months to actually do the battle. It's Wait, what? The battle begun? When? How? What? We're not... We are not inside the battlefield. Dude, what? We are absolutely not inside the battlefield here. So I'm calling shenanigans on that. And I'm not happy about it. But all right. Uh, get into the woods. And go into missile alert mode. Okay. You can make their, uh, their archers fairly useless while our retinue recovers. They shouldn't have to recover, but I guess they do. Okay, y'all move up. You ready to fight their archers? And we're going to keep our other retinue in in hiding for now. Okay, now nobody's... Wait, the battlefield moved. Battlefield moved with them? Game? I don't know what you're doing anymore. The enemy's been spotted. Well, they weren't hiding very well. Y'all move up. I'm seeing an opportunity here. To do something. Okay, just stay on missile alert for now. So you move down. Y'all move... Okay, wrong way. This way. Okay. Stay here. Y'all, stop. Okay, they're moving up. Move back. These guys are trying to be sneaky-deaky. 
I think that retinue there will uh, probably hold them off pretty well. This is the retinue from us, so we need to keep these guys on our side. Okay. Are you guys fighting? Or are you guys shooting? Shoot it, Will. Actually, no, don't do that. Um, shoot at them. Y'all, missile alert. Okay, move our other retinue down here. Tell you what, let's get our spear militia rallying over here as well. Do not run. Yeah, do not run, but rally over this way. Okay, these brigands are going to learn themselves a harsh lesson. They decide to stay over here. They're actually stuck. I think they got completely bamboozled. Okay, rally up and move up. All of the, our spear militia has helmets. So they are far better equipped than these brigands are. Probably. I don't know if they have helmets or not, to be honest with you. But they do. Or we do, I should say. Hey, our archers are shooting at them. They are just tired as hell. We actually took out one of their archers before they took out any of ours. Which, to me, that's impressive. Okay, thankfully we have shields over here and they're doing their job. Okay, where is our militia? Come on, guys. I want you to get over here if at all. Actually, no, if you if you demand on going that way, then come over here. I'm sorry, what? They tried to do a what to your huh? Okay, they're moving in. Let's get our mercenaries moving up. Okay, hold up. Get ready. Stand your ground. Move towards them. Okay. Mercenary archers, move back. Right new attack the brigands. That was not my original plan, but it might be what has to work. Get our spears up here to fight the brigands. Our retinue attack their retinue. They are not as well armored. Our retinue has a huge armor advantage. Okay, if our... If our militia can get over here in time and take out these brigands, then these two can just snowball up to the enemy retinue, and then we've won. Easily. Hey, archers. Give ground. Move back. Okay, the, the enemy's already lost some retinue. We've lost a couple as well. Get them. All right. They're already down to eight brigands. They're done. They're roasted and toasted. All right. Push forward. You guys are going to be aggressive. Ah, we're losing quite a few retinue here. That's too bad. There are... There are definitely our more experienced retinue band. They haven't lost any of these infantry over here, and that's scary. But ours have better morale. Roasted, toasted. Let's get this retinue. Okay, our retinue... This way I was retinue, join the others. Spear militia, move up. Engage and roast the archers. Okay, I'm not... I don't care what happens to the uh, mercen enemy... Or, and uh, not enemy, but the mercenaries. Wow, the retinue folded. Dude, their retinue folded when our guys uh, joined up to reinforce. Beautiful. Okay, archers don't have to do anything. All right, recent losses were rough, yeah, but morale is extremely high, again, because we're, they're in the home area. Another group roasted. Get them. Get their ass. The 90, negative one uh, king's favor. Get that out of here. All right, there goes another group. Finish them off. 
get these guys out of here. Tell them to get out of here. Leave. Okay. Retinue. Disband. Other ones. Go back to Zueo. Uh, there you go. You did great. Uh, feel free to run back. Actually, eh, it doesn't matter. Mercenaries. Get over here and help fight these archers. All these archers can do right now is try to, like, retreat. But the thing is, it doesn't do anything. Like, it can't help them. There they go. Now they've engaged. Get them, militia. Oh, wow, they're folding hard. They actually got dismantled. That was worth an achievement, too. Peace declared. Whether you like it or not, baby. Beautiful work. All right, you guys. Go ahead and disband. You did great work. I need our uh, these guys to come back home. That was amazing. Love these shields, by the way. Love this banner. Love the dragon. Phenomenal. Right, they're crossing the border now. Welcome home, lads. All right. Go home. All right. You. I mean, the damage you took sucked, but guess what? Replaced. It's good to have money. All right. I do still need to do some work there, but that's okay. We now have another city, and once we have 250 gold... Well, not another city, another region. Once we have 250 gold, we can turn it into another town, village, whatever you want to call it. Now, of course, the guy does have plenty of other territory still, but we've gained some on him, and that's the important part. It's a pretty darn good fight in our favor, too. Did you guys make it home? You did. Disband. Well done, well done. Do I need to still respond to this correspondence? Like, do you even care anymore? I may withdraw my claims for a price. My claims are non-negotiable. But I'm not going to actually say that. I don't need to say anything to you. I don't need to justify myself to you. Alright. 200 meat, let's go. That's what I wanted to see. And 105 leather. Hell yeah. We trade in leather? We are. Uh, it's not worth anything right now, which is why it's not actually being traded. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. I work in the fields over here. Nobody actually lives here yet, but that, that'll come in time. So we have a year's worth of resources over here. Great. How about uh, Breland? Bo bodies need burial. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, Raiders may be dumped in a corpse pit. Make sure you have a family assigned to handle it. We have a family on the church, right? Yes. But we don't have a corpse pit. The workers become grave diggers. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, I guess we'll put that, like, somewhere out of the way. I guess right here. Sure. Get rid of them. We'll assign a family there and they'll uh, do the needful. Too bad they died on our lands, but, you know, that's what they get. They pick the fight on our lands, right? Ugh. Yeah, they sure did. Put one family here. Ugh. And they'll do what they gotta do. $264. Good God. And of course, the green caps are refreshed, I assume. Yes, they are. Cool. Right, they'll get rid of them eventually. Lack of entertainment. Taxation, of course. Uh, Forager's Hut, you're empty. Go ahead and take you off. Okay, for the season. But now we have 190 berries, so it, it paid off. It paid off, for sure. Okay. 
Uh, do we want to expand the living space up here? I'm not sure we do. I mean, 11 months worth of food is a good amount, but you know what? We took all the um, planning stuff down from here. I kind of want to just do more bird burgage plots here. Uh, yeah, that's one corner, right? How does that even work? What am I making here? What is this? Who did this? I mean, I did this, but look at it. That's hideous. <laughs> um, no. I'd actually rather go like to there and then to like here. A little bit farther down. A little bit farther. That's closer. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then one big ass property with more vegetables? Or two. Eh, one big ass property with more vegetables, I think. Yeah, we do have room over here, too. To make more housing. I'm wondering if it would be worth it. You know, you could do that right there. Turn it into two housings. Okay. And then boom, boom. And do it the other way around. Boom, boom. Connect to the road. There you go. Then y'all have a place to live. Vegetable garden here. Vegetable garden on at least one of these here. Maybe the other one could be like, I don't know, something else. Just gotta remember, if I'm gonna do a joiner shop or anything, it has to be like, these ones are better to turn into things like joiner shops. The smaller ones. Or Fletcher shops or whatever. The point is, these are the ones we should be transforming into those. Why? Because they take up the plot. And you should only have one. You probably only want to use up one family's worth instead of two. Granted, those other things are assumptions that I could be wrong on. Those are assumptions I'm making nonetheless. All right, how are we doing over here? 11 months worth of food. Okay. Well, it's November right now, but we should have a lot of vegetables next time, and we'll have a lot of meat. No berries, but that's okay. 12 male armor. Sweet. How are we doing over here? Uh, no male armor, but that's okay. Uh, three families have it, though. Oh, five families have it. Sweet. Oh, the militia's getting better and better. Telling you. Alright, one of the plots are done. This one. Cool. Uh, probably don't need to upgrade it. I, well, we do want to upgrade it because it's going to give us wealth if by upgrading it. But we probably don't need to. It's not like a huge priority. Put it that way. Okay. I mean, they keep saying the pantries are full. But like... I mean, does that count towards our veggies, though? If I go to the granary, I don't see any any there. Go to the marketplace, do I see any in any of the food stalls? You have 12. What about this food stall? None. Clothing? You know, that's what I'm saying, though. Uh, another 200-something monies. Sweet. So, like, it's not getting... To the food stalls. That's the thing. Okay. Good stuff. Both of these are now filled up. Or filling up, I should say. Go ahead and expand the moat. This one's almost expanded. Sweet. Ah, that's right. We had the little granary here. Yeah. Put some more families on this granary and upgrade it. That way, we might be able to move more vegetables over here. That might solve the problem. At least that's what I'm thinking right now. All right. I don't know if we get a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra lumber, we could upgrade this church for sure. How are we doing on planks? Twenty-five. 
Eh, shut down the saw pit for a bit. Technically, we only need one extra lumber, but, you know, it'll happen in time. Well, it would if we put people on the logging pit. Hmm. How many people do we have on the Forester hut? Just one? All right. I guess I'm going to assume they're doing their best and hope that I'm right. So this place mainly has animals as well. I guess we'll have plenty of meat and leather. Well, that's a good thing, right? At least in my opinion. Okay. Good, getting them upgraded. Yeah, give me uh, vegetable gardens on both of these. And upgrade them to level two. And then a vegetable garden on this one. Which will be a huge one. All right, and with that many vegetable gardens, like I said, I could probably end up taking some of these other places. Like, this is a vegetable garden here. This does not need to be a vegetable garden. This could be a tailor's workshop or something. You know? In fact, let's make it a tailor's workshop. It's going to take the families off, but that's fine. They can go tailor now. They can make clothes. Proper clothes. It'll be glorious. Probably. I don't know. Okay. Head back down here. Can we upgrade the church yet? Yes. Okay. Upgrade that church, lads. Be a great, great project. Yeah, we can put some more uh, families in here, too. Taylor's workshop is done. That was fast. All right, there it is. So now we could make Gambison. That takes linen. We don't have linen. Let's see. Cloaks require yarn and dye. Linen and dye. Oh. I could have sworn one of these, at least, was going to take yarn. And it does, but it's the cloaks. Huh. Well. Let's get linen. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's get it the classic way. Buying it. Four bucks? Alright. Import it. Try to put us at like ten at a time. But then we'll make Gambison out of it. We could sell Gambison for six. So what we could do is say you know, establish a trade route. Keep us at like five or more Gambison or something like that. And we could make things other than just Gambison from this as well. We could turn it into clothes. Ah, those all required dyes. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Hmm. We're already making shoes like crazy. Ugh. Man, there's nothing else I would really want it to make. I mean, we could make war bows. I assume that would be made out of the the planks. And that would allow us to, of course, get, you know, archers. We could recruit our own archers if we wanted to with that. 13 militia footmen over here, by the way. Need more shields to get more done? That's fine. Understandable. It is what it is, and it's all that it is, and the stuff is getting in there. Cool. Very cool, very cool. All right. Yeah, there goes our money. But we're getting some linen, which means we'll get some gambeson. And the level two houses, I guess, or maybe the level ones, will equip the, the uh, gambeson. Yeah, I don't think any of them equip plate. Yeah, it didn't make as much money last uh, this time. But that's okay. We're uh, exporting a bit more. New family in Breland. Sweet. Yeah, upgrade this lodge now. Since we can. Ooh, we'd upgrade this one to a level three. Nice. Nice. More level threes. I, I blame the granary for this. I think blame is the right word, but you know what I mean. I, I feel like it's a part of it, I should say. 
these level one houses are gonna remain level one because they can't get the fuel but that's okay we got more level threes coming which is going to be nuts for wealth generation. As it usually is. Okay, now we have nine linen. Nice. Hey, what about these plots? These are vegetable gardens as well. They're very small, which means they would also be candidates for being changed into something else. Yeah, let's get uh, let's get a Fletcher's workshop. Here we go. I'm sorry, did that remove four families? I guess it did. Well, then we better get a ton of freaking bows out of that. Right now, they're not great, but we could set up a trade route. Let's go ahead and do that. Then eventually we could sell them. We'll keep like 36 because that's a full unit and then sell the rest of the war bows. That was fast. Okay. I literally cannot choose what they make. I guess they just, you know, there's only one thing they do make. Uh, we're down to eight months worth of food here. That's a little worrisome. But I feel like once the season comes around, that'll be fixed. That's how I feel right now. Over here, 11 months still. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. You know, life is popping. Over here, the best it can, theoretically. All right, well, at least the people are probably working on their own houses at the very least. Because I can see that the upgrades are coming still. Let's just speed it up a bit. Come on, give me that level three. Ooh. Family members joined. All right, cool. Okay, so this one's level two. That's okay. Don't expect them all to make it level three. Just most of them. Because I want that wealth. Oh yeah, that's right. The uh, joiner's workshop was only level two, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, so we have two things making stuff out of planks right now. So we probably need to keep the saw pit going. Let's go ahead and try to keep ten... Timber in reserve, if we can. I think that would be good. We need a family to work it, of course. Uh, We need a family to work the Forester's Hut still. We can upgrade these to level 3? Oh my goodness. Do it. That's also more room for families, don't forget that. We can now hold up to 69 families here, which is nice. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to get those up to level 3. And I'm certainly not complaining. Okay. Let's take some people off of a few things here. Because once March comes around, we're going to want some other things getting done. Uh, large storehouse. We could probably take a family off of here. Let them get on construction. I don't want to take a family off the logging camp. Because I like how many we have here. That did put another one on the saw pit. Okay. Okay. There we go. Families are joining over here. It's February. I don't know where I would take people off right now. You could use more food to upgrade level 3. That's fine. I don't need the brewery to be level 3. In fact, I don't need the brewery to be anything because it's made 198 ale right now. We still can't sell shoes? No, we can't. Yeesh. Can't sell tools right now, either. It's because the market got flooded down here. I mean, we can sell tools. It's not for much. Okay, I need more families to actually move in. Maybe I can shut down clay production for now? We have 69 roof tiles, which is nice. We have 295 clay. Tell you what, yeah, let's let's turn off the clay pit for now. Okay. You're ready to put a family back on the berry deposit, but for now, we'll just let them work. I think that's fine. Uh, we still are importing male armor. How are our families looking? Eight? 
over here. Four over here. Sweet. Of course, all of the uh, militia footmen have helmets. That's no surprise. All right. A new actual family moved in. Thank frick. Okay. That's what we needed. Wait. You're behind level one plots? Let's at least get these to level two. Yeesh. This poor plot right here. Like these like rich people's houses right behind this little hovel. Like that's not good for them. Hey, vegetables getting harvested over here. Sweet. Well, apparently level three house has a huge pantry. So that's going to help with our uh, vegetables. It is March. So back to the forge, forager's hut. Let's get two families on there for now. Okay, more should move in, of course. Uh, over here, we have four available. We probably don't need more than one on the hut. Let's be real. In fact, I don't even... Yeah, it's, that's fine. Okay, how are we doing on the animals here? 14. We have 177 meat, though, so they're eating. They're eating good. All right. We're flush with cash. Let's, uh... Let's upgrade. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Stronger retinue. And you know what? If I built another place in that new land, I'd get a whole nother unit of retinue. Can you believe it? Okay. Is there like a upgrade button? It'd be cool if there was. There might be, but whatever. Let's just get them all upgraded. Fully armored. Fully ready. Kick some butt in our name. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. Are we still going to have enough for uh, a couple of months worth of mercenaries? It's looking good. Oh, yeah. We still have three months worth of mercenaries. Of uh, mercenary pay available. So there. Now they're fully upgraded. Sweet. You know, I'm looking over here at Breland, and we have this area that's, like, completely undeveloped. I feel like we could do stuff with it. I feel like we could make another... Like, maybe another small market over here, even? Is that a good idea? I don't know if it is. This market has no stall locations left. This one has 18 available. But, I mean, I could, like, you know, put some more Burgesses over here. Burgage plots over here. Burgages. Keep this for the uh, woodworks. But then what else would go over here? Sheep. Logistics. Mining. No. I mean... Not much. I could plant new trees. But I'm planting new trees. And honestly, the rate that we're, we have trees incoming and outgoing is not that bad. Saw pit is empty. But we have 34 war, war bows. So, uh, yeah. We're almost full on that. Already. Damn. Sweet. And we're halfway with our militia footmen. We're going to want some extra... Shields and sidearms down here, of course. But once we have that extra, like, we're good. We're good for a while. Um, do we want to keep trading roof tiles away? I don't know if we do. Ah, we don't. You have 230 already. We do not. Okay, stop trading the roof tiles. We still want mail armor, but uh, now you can trade, let's say... I mean, firewood is tempting, but that's a terrible price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's say these small shields. Ugh, that's also not a great trade, you know, not a great uh, return on the bartering. We don't need helmets to be sent anymore, though, either. So instead, send the mail for small shields. Yeah, it's same thing. Because that's what we need. 
Okay, we have 53 helmets up here in Breland that do not need to get used. So I'm feeling pretty good right there. Okay, barriers are starting to head back up. Down here. We still got plenty of meat. We got 12. We got a year's worth of food in Zueo. Only seven months in Breland. But I think that's going to turn around once all of these vegetables have grown and are harvested. I think that's going to put us where we want to be. Hmm. Are we going to be able to fill these families up with just mail? Do we not need to make Gambeson at all? I don't know. Only one house doesn't have everything they need. That's great. All right. So we've expanded a bit. We're back to 250 bucks. So, you know, in another month or two, maybe we'll prepare to expand up here to uh, Hofstetten. And then check out uh, some of these other places even eventually. I'd like to get the middle section, Waldbrand. None of them have anything we desperately want. Like, pfft. What are we going to do with a bunch of stone? Oh, there is a bandit camp. All right. Yo. Rally up. We got a bandit camp to take over, lads. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let's get both of them. Okay. Are there more? And I just never saw them? No, it looks like there's just the one but I definitely want to attack them okay all right you guys running you guys should not be running stop running do not run never run running is dumb okay running just seems to tire you out that's the only thing you achieve by running okay they are moving more slowly now but yeah that bandit camp could be money or who hey we made 248 bucks that bandit camp could be money or wait what is this oh that's our the shield is not in the right spot or the uh, icon but all right weird looks like we just didn't have everyone gathered I don't know. Either way, let's head toward that bandit camp. Get moving, please. All right. Sway, so I was almost at a thousand wealth, which is great. I don't know why we're looking at Zwayao when we're up there, but whatever. Still great. Church has been upgraded. Mood is fine. Who is fine in Breland as well. 1,300 wealth. Which means we could be better off. But gotta wait for them veg vegetables to go up. Alright guys. How are we doing? Still pretty darn tired. Stop here. Actually stop up here. Are there any bandits? There might not be. I mean if the camp was abandoned... Then guess what? We just got a bunch of free stuff. Put it in my treasury. 171 bucks. Alright. Definitely not turning down free stuff, let me tell you. Okay. Head back to your uh, respective towns. I wonder if that's going to happen again. I don't know. Yeah, now we could totally get another settler's camp. And get another settlement up here. How is the, uh, whoa. There's almost no water over here. What in the hell? That sucks. Ooh, more money. Yes, cool. But, fertility. Crazy fertility for emmer, flax, barley, rye fertility is amazing as well. It smells over here. That's great. Gotta love the smell. Um, so yeah, oddly enough, no water. But okay. 
I guess we could put a camp still somewhere around here. And then this could be a place that's set up for farming. You know, we give it the heavy plow. Fertilization allows the fallow to feel field as a pasture. Hmm. Use a fallow field as a pasture. I can read. Or we do the bakeries. Produces bread from flour with twice the efficiency of a communal oven. Or we go with rye cultivation over here. Hmm. And orchards. That would give us some variety in foodstuffs, you know. Lots of options. Lots of options. However, for now... Man, you guys made it home fast. For now, that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays. That's probably fast because we went in full speed. Uh, Manor Lords, if you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know that you enjoyed it by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. So it'll keep coming. It'll stop till it does stop. And then uh, it'll probably stop. Well, thanks again for watching this episode of Manor Lords. My name is Thet, Nice Outhouse, and I will see you in the next video. It might just be a shed. In the next video... Everybody owes.